Hello all you Tabor Raiders. Getting around the island of Tabor when you're first starting out can be quite frustrating, especially when danger lurks around every corner. In today's video, we are going to be covering all of the points of interest you should be checking out on the island of Tabor. I am currently working on the map Silo right now, and that will be coming in a future video. So consider hitting the subscribe button as we are covering a ton of Tabor related content here on the channel, and I'm really trying to hit 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. Be sure to check out my other Tabor guides in my Ghosts of Tabor playlist. The island of Tabor is quite large, so this video may be a bit longer than my other Tabor guides, but I promise you, you are going to want to stick around to learn all of the map. Now, there are quite a few different spawn points for players. This particular spawn point we started was at the Gore Pit. Now, as the name suggests, the Gore Pit is a giant bloody red pit filled to the brim with smelly bodies. The spawn itself does not have much to offer except a small building and a watchtower. The small building does have a loot box and the watchtower does have a chance to spawn weapons. Bonus tip here, if you time it correctly, you can drop down ladders super quickly if you spam the grip button as you fall. After you leave the gore pit, you will want to head up to the military base. Now, the military base is a classic high risk, high reward. This place is usually covered in both scavs and players alike. The outlying bunkers have multiple loot boxes with a high chance of weapons and armor. The bunkers also feature multiple entry points as some of them you can actually crawl in like a hole on the side. The main building has a variety of floors with loot on each single floor. It's also a place where you can get a medical stim almost 100% guaranteed, unless of course it's been looted already. It's on the second floor and you will need to unlock the door first. Once you're finished looting at the military base, you can head out the back side by prying apart the doors and that will lead you up to Sniper Mountain. Now, Sniper Mountain doesn't really have much loot that I'm aware of. There is a small camp up there with one loot box. Uh, that is also where players can potentially spawn. There's tons of cover and multiple vantage points up here. So as the name suggests, it is a great place to get a scope for the land. From Sniper Mountain, you can actually hit both the research building and the beach tents, depending on which way down the mountain that you go. But for the sake of this guide, we are gonna head down to the beach tents. Beach tents are one of two military tent encampments on the side of the road. It features a tower with a chance of loot and the main tent itself with multiple small boxes and one large box that pretty often spawns body armor. Heading down the road towards the beach cottage, you will pretty often see a patrol of scavs. Taking them out, you will eventually arrive at the beach cottage. The beach cottage is a pretty decent sized house with a lot of hit or miss loot in my opinion. You can often find food and other random junk spawn items as well as low to mid tier weapons. Behind the house players can spawn in and for some players they extract here as well making the beach cottage oftentimes a really good place to be a rat as it's a really high traffic area. Leaving the cottage and heading down the street you should start seeing the research building towering over everything. The research building is huge and I could probably make a whole dedicated video just to show all of the possible loot spots within the research building. It's a highly dangerous place with a lot of traffic from players and scavs in the area. Almost every room has some sort of filing cabinet to loot or items scattered around tables. And if you make it to the very top of the building uh, where the helipad is, there is quite a few loot containers there as well. Leaving out the front door of the research building, we can head down to storage. Now, storage generally has a scab in the main area, and there isn't a ton of loot here, despite the name being storage. <laughs> One small building has some loot and that's really all that I found at storage. It's still worth going here and cleaning out the scav so that you don't get shot in the back while heading to the boathouse to extract. Boathouse is a really high traffic area as well. F players extract on the docks and there is also a chance that players can spawn here. Oh, boathouse yeah. in regards roll. to loot has quite a bit to offer, especially on the top floor. Just don't let the scavs hiding in the last room get the drop on you. Once you successfully clear them out, there's quite a few filing cabinets and lockers that are filled to the brim with loot, as well as whatever the scabs had on them. 
After leaving Boathouse, you can make the short walk over to Tunnel. The tunnel itself is really just a choke point between the map. It's actually possible to go around the tunnel, and I would advise that as scavs and players alike can easily get the drop on you while you're totally exposed in the tunnel. Once you make it through or around the tunnel, you will arrive at the second set of military tents called the Hillside Tents. These tents are significantly harder as there are multiple scavs at this tent site. Once you clear them out though, the tents do offer quite a bit of loot in regards to large and medium sized boxes. Heading up from the hillside tents up the hill, you will eventually arrive at the hillside cottage. The hillside cottage is very similar to the beach cottage and you will find that the loot is about the same as well. Various junk loot definitely can find some food and there is some low to medium uh, tier armor and weapons. This house does have a basement though, which is perfect for ratting as it's quite dark and nobody will expect you hiding down there. This is also a player spawn and the extract is pretty close to the hillside cottage as well. Continuing up the hill, you will eventually reach the radio tower. The radio tower is another great point of interest to hit up on your raids throughout Tabor. It offers quite a bit of filing cabinets, loot boxes, and plenty of hiding and vantage points to scout the surrounding area. It's worth noting that if you did come off Sniper Mountain to the back side of the research building, you can path your way to the radio tower as well. Comment down below if you want to see a video on my typical high loot run path and the way that I traverse the island map. Lastly though, we do need to make the long journey back down the hill and head to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is pretty exposed almost the entire way, but if you do successfully make to the lighthouse, I have noticed that there is a really decent chance for mid to high end weapons to spawn here pretty regularly. Towards the top of the lighthouse, there is a large container that often has body armor or backpacks and a weapon case at the very, very top. Hopefully this was helpful. It took a crazy amount of time and footage to put together. Comment down below what video you would like to see next, and I will see you all on the island.